In this session, I'm going to show you how to set up the printing of envelopes. Um, I don't know about you, but it's, I find it really annoying when you print a, a confirmation letter. That can take two minutes, and then you go to print uh, an envelope, and it takes 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is show you how to set up envelope printing, so hopefully it becomes nice and quick and easy as well. So first thing I'm going to do is go to my company and then into stationery so it's the same place that you use to set up all of your other stationery you'll see here I've got all of my station my letter printing stationery but down here there is a section called envelope stationery I do actually have one set up here already it's a bit dull looking but it does the job and what I'm going to do is set up another one but then jazz it up a bit so you can actually see how to make your envelopes look quite good um, so first thing I'm going to do is click on the add new item of stationery and then in the list I'm going to choose envelope stationery. Now by default it will bring up the editor and put in two very important fields for, for you which is the person's name and their address. You normally need those on, on every envelope. Um, so I'll leave those set as they are at the moment. I'm going to go over to other details. Um, I'm going to set this up to be a C5 envelope, I think. Um, you'll see here the size. We've got three sizes set up, C4, C5 and DL, which are the most common sizes here in the UK. Um, I'll choose C5 and I'll call it uh, C5 envelope stationery. Um, you can also choose where you want this to be printed on the envelope, whether you want it centred horizontally, um, or in the middle vertically, obviously you've got three choices there, either left, centre or right, and then on the vertical alignment you can put it at the top, middle or the bottom. I'm going to leave it centre, middle, um, that seems to do good layout. Um, so I'll go back to the contents and then I'll click on the OK button here just so you can see how it previews. So here we have it's added, been added to the list, C5 envelope. If I click on it, you see here a quick preview coming up. Um, I know this has got scroll bars on it. It's because of the limits for um, doing the screen recording. So the chances are, well, if you were to do this on yours, it doesn't actually come up with scroll bars there. But you can see here, we have put the full name and the complete address pretty much in the, in the middle of the envelope. Um, I'll go over to one of our contacts. Um, and show you then how that previews. So here we have Miss Amber Dean. I'll do communication. Uh, send one of the standard letters to the contact. I know it's not a letter, it's actually an envelope, but we need to go into the letters section. I'll choose um, the C5 envelope that we set up. Click on the preview. And there it is. There is the address set up. It's printed on the envelope. Um, looks a bit dull though um, and what it would be nice to do is to add um, our company logo on there as well so what I'll do I'll go back to uh, the stationery I'm going to click back on the editor and this is of course the advantage of using the um, you know the screen editor um, so what I'll do just put in a carriage return now I'm going to use a table for adding some um, layout tables are very useful for for getting good, nice, accurate layout results. So I'll do insert table. I'll make this um, yeah, two columns and one row. I'm going to set the width to auto fit the contents. Um, I'll take that tick box off and I want equal column widths. And the other thing I know I've got to do, I don't actually want a black border around the table, so I'll set the border size to zero. Um, and then I'll click on OK there. Now it's put in our table, as you can see there. Nothing in it at the moment. So what I'm going to do, make sure the cursor is flashing there in the first box of the table. And I'm going to put in our company logo in there. There we go. And then in the second box here, I'll put in our company name. So I'll put Hot uh, Wheels Motorcycle training and I'll just jazz that up a bit as well so let's make it um, a bit bigger and uh, uh, we could also put it in a different color as well I think 
let's have a nice red color there there we go and I'll just put a bit of space there I'm going to remove these spaces here because I did notice on the last preview it had made things line up a bit oddly so right I think that's um <laughs> that's good enough so let's save that there's now our preview of it again so I'll go back to my contact and click back here there it has updated click on the preview button and here we have now our envelope um, unfortunately I've got to use these scroll bars to show you but there it's got our company logo our name and then the address underneath so obviously you can jazz this up in the way that you see fit um, and put your company logo and company name on but hopefully you can see here it's a lot um, you know very very straightforward to set up um, a more interesting envelope design and if I now just click on the print button there Hopefully you should now see a sort of full screen preview of it. There you go. There is a preview of our C4 envelope that would, um, sorry, C5 envelope that would then print.